Um, it was a vision that we had that we wanted to just launch online groups for, um, of course, we had the Zoom group set up, but of course, when we came back from in-person, most people wanted to go back in-person. So we lost a lot of those online groups, and we felt this need to... Um, reestablish some online groups. There is a lot of people, now, not just people who are around here that don't feel comfortable coming back, but there are people all over the world who watch us on Sundays and are a part of our online, like, uh, our online church. And so they're not just an audience. They're here. They're faithful. They're watching us. They're engaging. And um, how cool would it be if they were a part of an online group? And so we, we met this couple who were already doing an online group successfully that they launched in the middle of a pandemic. And um, they just, they've done wonderful with it. There are people who know how to make Zoom fun, and that is a gift. Um, and so we brought, we brought them in, and we presented them, which is hilarious, on the screen because they were on their honeymoon. So what better way to present the online group category uh, coordinators over the Zoom, <laughs> and um, that was awesome, but we haven't had an opportunity to have them in front of you, so would you please welcome Mark and Joanna Peterson. They are here to represent our online group category, and they're going to come speak to you. I'm very excited. I want you guys to share a little about how you started your own group um, online, the Equally uh, Yoked. I want you to share a little bit how you started that and your vision behind why you did that. And then also just tell them your personal vision for the online group category. This is incredible. I want you to hear it. Their heart is just amazing for this. So I, you have to hear it from them. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. Joanna, I'm going to actually ask you to share the history. Okay. And the starting up and then I'll jump in. So. Okay. Hi guys, I'm Joanna. This is my husband Mark. As Robin said, we were on our honeymoon last year, but unfortunately that was not just when we got married. It just took us a couple years to go on our honeymoon. Um, and it happened to fall on that day. So we were like, oh my goodness, we're virtual. So this works out perfect. You'll meet us on a screen. It's kind of get used to it. Um, but we're here now and I don't also know if a lot of you know that I used to serve at Life Church. Um, our son is a pastor at Life Church, and um, that's where we started our virtual group. It was uh, right at the start when they shut churches down, and we were asked to lead. Um, so they did a training with us, and that's how we started our, our life group. So it is called Equally Yoked. We do meet virtually. However, we also meet in person. Um, but the group that Robin's talking about is virtual leaders in training, and that's something that Mark and I lead as well. Um, the beauty of that, when you look at this list that Robin gave, I mean, I, I, could, I could probably say, and, and you can speak to this too, but that in our group, it's changed, right? It's, gone, it's gotten really big, and then it's gotten smaller, and then bigger and smaller, because what we want to do is set people off for their own gifting and so that they can lead their own groups and not only virtually but also in person and i can say that the apostle the prophet the evangelist pastor teacher all of those giftings have been there um some at some point in time right but what we like to do is operate in the spirit with our group so patience kindness you know things like that we pray we make sure we set those ground rules at the very beginning saying that god is actually the leader of our group we don't lead them the it's just god you know and he's working through all of us and this kind of helps people build on their own gifting right there and, and we don't necessarily i don't i i i have never actually personally said to someone you know god is telling you mark to lead a group telling me to tell you that you know that's probably not my gifting <laughs> to say that to someone i want that person to really understand what the commitment is to lead a group. Um, I never want to push that person into leading because there, there's some factors we need to weigh out, right? There are the positives and the very realistic negatives and the commitment behind that. And you have to be ready to commit. You know, you can't just say, I'm having a bad day today. I don't really want to lead the group today, you know? And so I'm going to let my husband speak now because this is, uh, this is actually something that I've been working on. I don't speak in front of people. I sing, so. <laughs> That's uncomfortable. You could have just sang all of that yeah, to I us. And everything. So, so, yeah. so we're very excited to be here. You know, like um, 
Robin said, you know, last time that we were here was was uh, 2D, so now you see us 3D. But we're we're very comfortable with that. Um, we've been doing it for a few years now, leading leading this group. It's and one thing um, that I want to add to it is we are we are nationwide. So our group has people from D.C. to Florida. Well, like like Joanna said, it is expanded and contracted all over. But we, I mean, people from California and Nashville and um, Louisiana and Mich I mean, just all over the place, right? So, so it's not only Pastor Luke was talking about, uh, you know, our, our church of small groups. So we're not only in the building up of in this group that we lead, the building up of this local church, but also strengthening these other believers in other local churches, yeah. and and it's the dynamic is great. It really is um, to have people bring their points of views from different parts of the nations, di different groups, and different churches. So what their pastor is teaching them, and what our pastor is teaching, and being able to share that, encourage one another. I mean, it's just. It's really been awesome. So to have a universal church within the local church, within a local small group, is has really been fabulous to see. And, and it's all, all been a God thing, really has. Um, just how God used the craziness of, of 2020 to, um, to encourage us to start this because we're like, okay, we need this. You know, that, that is a need, you know, just, just like a... Uh, just like a thirsty person in the desert, right? We were we were wanting that water, and that was the only way that was going to happen. Um, Joanna has been phenomenal. She is she is the inviter. She is the encourager to bring people in um, to to develop this group. So that, um, you definitely um, need one of those individuals um, in your group. So even if uh, Robin, you were saying that we we might not be the pastor or we might not be the evangelist. So it takes, much like the body of Christ works, where, you know, you, you need the thumbs and the mouths and the ears and the noses, right? And, and you can't, I mean, it's funny when the, when the thumb starts to try to smell. It doesn't work very well, right? So <laughs> it, it doesn't at all. So you need those individual parts, even in, it's a microcosm of the local body, of the universal body, right, in the small group. So you do need those things as the facilitator. And I think that's probably a, a word that I would use for us that we are those facilitators, right? We're of, the, of our small group. So we're excited about um, the virtual leaders in training that we're going to get started and we're gonna move forward with. Um, one thing I do want to add is there's a focus on online groups, okay? So that you are, and one, one uh, misnomer, one myth that I wanna set aside is that these are folks that just wanna live in the online world right? And that's, that's a myth because we're in person. You see us on Sunday. You see Joanna up on stage on Sunday. You see me, you know, at a door greeting with a blue shirt or whatever, but we're, we're online groups. Okay. So sometimes that's just a matter of convenience with scheduling. It's like, Hey, um, well, we, we have individuals in different parts of the KC Metro. You know, we, we are down in Olathe, and we have people that are out in Leewood and up in the Northland, you know, so, hey, am I going to drive, you know, 35, 40 minutes to get together with you? No, but boy, I'll jump online, yeah. boom, and I might, you know, I might be coming home from work, and I, I jump into my PJs or whatever, right, or, well, what I like to call it my online work uniform, and because I've been <laughs> online at work for three years now, and so we can do that and we can jump together, and it's really efficient too. You know, you can jump in, you can talk, and then you can say, okay, good night. Shut the lid, and, and you can grab your water, put it on the nightstand, and, and you're in bed, right? You don't have that 40 minute commitment. So put that aside, put that aside that online groups aren't just for online individuals, okay? Online groups can be for everybody. So even be thinking about that and thinking about that with folks, um, Robin, had you had said that you're going to help them launch. Well, maybe these are folks that aren't interested in hosting in their home, but they're like, you know what? I can lead a group. I can lead an online group. So get them into the virtual leaders training. And so you can identify those people in that. So. Miss anything? I'm sorry. You're awesome. Sorry. Yeah. 
She just springboarded me. And <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you stay right here with me so you can pray. Um, I am super excited about this category because I feel like they explain it in a way that makes me want to do it, right? And I don't super enjoy Zoom, but I have attended and spoke at one of their Zoom calls before, and it was a ton of fun. They play games. Um, they are very um, intentional with their time, and their group, you can tell, they have such a, a wonderful flow to it where everyone feels, like I said before, valued. They feel like they have a role to play in the group. Um, and um, you can tell that they genuinely know that they're cared for by Mark and Joanna. Um, Joanna, I remember that evening was with her family. So she was actually um, away and it, on Zoom, on a Zoom in a different place than Mark was. But the priority that she put upon that group was, and was phenomenal. That she took time when she was spending time with her family. Um, it was actually in a, in, a, in a difficult time for her family. But she still took time to go and to be on that call with her, what she considers to be her online family. Right, these people, she, and she was real with them. Like, it's tough right now. And they were rallying around her. It was just beautiful. So I want to absolutely um, emphasize that. If you know that there are people that you believe could be leading groups, and, they, and it is easier for them to do it online, let's point them to Mark and Joanna. They have such a beautiful vision for this. They are well capable to equip people to lead these groups. So we really want to help them. Um, we as a leadership should be helping one another and supporting one another. This is our newest category. We need to be supporting it. Are we all good with that? Wonderful. Wonderful. 